I don't mean to flex guys, but I just kind of graduated yesterday. I'm kind of a big deal. And you know, before I start off this video, just big shout out to coronavirus because without you, I would have not graduated. No joke, if I was tardy two more times to first period, I wouldn't have graduated. No joke. And my, uh, my cousin the other day said everything happens for a reason. So I'm sorry guys, but kind of coronavirus happened because of me so I could pass school my bad but for real the high school experience is something i would never trade for anything now don't get me wrong i hate school and i would never go back but school provided a ton of experiences and memories that you probably would have never gotten otherwise and no joke if you just lived like a caveman you were born and you eat poop all every single day you know make a few tools with rocks it's not the same. It didn't really hit me that we were graduating until the day of, like the very night before, that these experiences were something I'm never gonna have again. And that I didn't even know it was the last time I was gonna have those experiences on March 13th. Because we did think we were gonna be going back to school on Monday. You know, we just thought we were gonna go back to school, but we were kind of robbed of those memories. Now, I am kind of just reiterating some stuff that was said during the speeches during the 2020 ceremony but it was something that i already felt just somebody put it into words and now i'm just saying it in my own and i'm kind of thinking of this video as a documentation of all the memories that i had in like the last four years and it's really funny to say that when when i think of high school i don't think of all the bad stuff i don't think about how i was stressed every day i don't i don't think about how in 11th and 12th grade i was so stressed out every single day about if I was going to graduate or not. I don't think about those times. I think about, I think about every day that I walked home with my friend Joseph and all his little brothers and sister, Lorenzo, Liddell, Troy, and, um, Annalise. And, and then my sister too. And we just always have so much fun. And like Liddell, man, I love Liddell. Liddell's like 13, but he's like six, four. We, we'd always call him big ounce. We'd joke around with him and I'll always be like, Liddell, why are you touching my ass? And you'd get so triggered because it, it, those are just good times. And I remember one time all the hall passes dropped out of my bag because they got stuck in a binder and they all fell out. And I was like, oh my God, I quickly placed my bag over it. It was like the funniest memory ever. My heart was beating so much. And there was another time where a hall pass fell out in my math class. And Miss Mummy was like, that better not be my hall pass. I was like, I was like freaking out. And it's so funny to think about now that I could have just played that so cool and not freaked out about it because there, there's no issue. Like I could have just said, oh, I accidentally, accidentally put it in my bag. Here's some of the hall passes I took. This isn't even half of them. This is just the, the, the hall passes in one of my drawers in my desk. I like, I was going to wear these to graduation, but I was like, maybe that's not a good idea i legit miss the memory so much of aiden being the worst student on earth aiden we're in this business math class right no joke this math was for retards that's partly why i was in the class right aiden would refuse to do any of the work i'm no joke i had like a, such a good grade in this class and aiden i'm pretty sure aiden failed don't i'm sorry aiden if you're watching this video you probably will i'm pretty sure you failed but he he was the most awful student ever and then speaking of Aiden I will never forget the time where I went to my first dance um homecoming for I think it was in 2019 at the time I'll never forget that before homecoming Aiden came over to my house and we recorded the video playing Fortnite with one hand he was on keyboard and I was on the mouse and that was the most fun video I've ever recorded that will always be such a great memory that we did that together and then I remember the day after the but it was the the last day be before winter break and this was on the 23rd and the 23rd was also when winter royale started and i remember that day one of our teachers uh mr githler did this thing called the winter roast or whatever where he roasts every kid in the senior class the senior roast that's what it's called after that my mom picked us up from school and we went home to my house and we had i was playing fortnite on my setup and he was right across from me playing fortnite on that setup too 
those will be some great some of the greatest three days ever even though we horribly lost we were five points off from making it in the money by the way and then i'll never forget missing the entirety of 10th grade and playing fortnite every single day bro like i i was taken out of school and i was supposed to do um school work at home i was supposed to have a tutor right but after a month the tutor quit so i wasn't even getting school work at the time which now i think about the situation i'm thinking of why couldn't i just get in gotten school work at home but anyways the tutor quit and i think for five months i didn't do any work at all and oh my god i just played fortnite every single day and made videos all the time and not to mention may 1st when i walked to school to pick up my sister and i saw joe for the first time in a few months um we didn't have each other's contacts at the time and i picked up my sister and joe and i walked home on this beautiful day it was it was like the perfect temperature i was in shorts and everything and that day was the release of season four of fortnite which was one of the best times ever summer 2018 was just amazing all right i'm done with this gun guys i'm really sorry i probably really annoyed you throughout this entire video but um it can just chill out there i'll get it later <laughs> And there's so many other countless memories that I can't even recall right now. It's kind of those memories that get triggered. Somebody says something and you're like, oh, well this time, but I will always like, I'll never miss school, but I'll miss the memories that came with school. The good ones, which is pretty much the only memories I memorize. And I do want to say thank you guys for being on this journey with me. If you guys don't know, I did start my YouTube channel when I was in ninth grade. By the way, here's a picture of me in ninth grade. I know a lot of people say i'm a 30 year old which it's just not true i'm i'm swear i'm not 30 and just now graduating but it's kind of insane to say that like i remember being every single day coming home from school and then going to work and then after i'd get home from work i'd work on a video this is back in 2017 and those are some of the fondest memories i ever had and that kind of stretched out into um after the summer too and it was just those were such great times just listening to post malone and making making videos at the time youtube was always a dream for me that i knew i was eventually gonna accomplish but in 2017 that was when i finally accomplished my dream of doing youtube and it was just so new and so amazing and so fun and i always had this huge drive to do it and i still have a drive to do youtube it's just the drive is different when you're a new channel and it's like something you've always dreamed of and you're now finally doing it i do realize that this video was kind of just a rant video well not really a rant just a talking video but i thought i needed to do it just because it's important i was in ninth grade when this all started and now i'm in 12th going on in my adult life and i'm still doing youtube and i think that's pretty impressive because you know i i've known so many i've had so many friends on youtube that have quit throughout the times and i'm just proud of myself that i never did but anyways yeah guys try to make as many memories as you can during school have as much fun as you can and thank you for watching my video i love you all wow that was a very fast intro holy shit why why did i just end that so fast i like i have more to say but i just decided to end that so quickly but yeah guys i appreciate you thank you guys for growing up with me because i am actually incredibly young i am not 30 i love you all and i'll see you in the next one Peace. Oh, by the way, 14 days in nerd period starting on July 1st, and I'm going to be posting for 14 days, and the next video will be the announcement. I love you guys. This is actually the last time I'm talking. I love you, and peace. Fingers.